Hi everyone, DC Brakes back in the lab and today I'm going to be running through our new liquid drum and bass serum pack which is called Liquid Space. It's full of really nice lush sonic textures to give you that instant inspiration when you're writing in the studio and of course you don't just have to use it for writing drum and bass, it's also great, great for uh, kind of any ambient music or house music or any genre really where you just want to have some really interesting and kind of lush sonic uh, textures. So let's jump on in and have a look. There's 30 presets in the pack so I'm probably not going to have time to get through uh, all of them and uh, I've also just set up a couple of uh, probably quite badly chopped uh, old school breaks here that are just going to be playing at random to give us something to uh, play along with. So yeah, let's jump on in. And uh, the first uh, preset, uh, in fact, all the presets I've just set up uh, for uh, controls here on my virus to control the macros. And this is really where a lot of the kind of interest uh, from the sounds come. So we've kind of set these up so that you can make your own original sounds using the presets. So everything you're going to be getting sounds great out of the box, but you can also really uh, kind of customize it and fine tune it and also create transitions on the sound uh, when you're writing. So yeah, let's uh, hit play and hear how it sounds. First one is called uh, Bliss. So there's kind of a couple of different arpeggiators here. We can kind of play around with the rate. Kind of find different uh, combinations that sound good. I'm just playing the one note. This is an F sharp. And take out the arps all together, just kind of have a, like a nice pad. Add in some movement with the phaser. And then kind of blend these back in. Lovely stuff. So that's kind of what this pack's all about. It's having those kind of different uh, kind of combinations of macros that you can just really easily straight away get some uh, great sounding uh, pads and arpeggiators and some chords and stuff in here as well. So yeah, let's uh, keep going. Let's hear some more. Okay, let's try the filter to start with. Changing the rate now, making it faster. Once again, just playing the one note, but you, of course you could work some pitch bending. the idea that's uh, really lush okay uh, this is a pad called vapor trails let's uh, check this one out add some bass Awesome. Okay, uh, Skittles. So yeah, this is more of a, it says chord and it's a chord, but it's kind of like a good sort of lead sound. You just hold it down. It has that nice pattern already built in. Change the tone. We can play around with that with this third macro here. Quite often we build it so that the uh, sample which we put in the noise generator which is a resampled hardware synth like the virus 
uh, and you can choose to either have just a sample or you can bring in all the oscillators uh, from Serum as well for that added kind of complexity and layer. So you can hear this virus pad, it's still running through the filter with all those kind of cool envelopes, but um, then we can kind of add in the more complex um, kind of wavetable uh, layers as well. Okay, uh, another pad here, multiverse. Instant sonic bliss, lovely. Change the kind of... Excuse me, I play the note when the, uh, we have a, a loop playing as well. Sounds a bit off key. Really nice that one. Okay, let's try uh, this one. Again, we can play around with the LFOs. Let's try the next one. So this is kind of short. We can change the length with macro one. And you can change the shape of that kind of envelope on the length as well. Okay, let's try the next one. June buggy. Okay, so this one is pretty much uh, a composition in one preset. Um, it's inspired by June. Um, I'll just press play. I'm just going to yeah, actually hold a note and um, you can hear how it sounds and I'll kind of explain how we made it. I'm just holding down uh, this F here. So you can see LFO1 is playing kind of different notes. This is a scientific pitch. This is providing some kind of uh, fine detuning, which creates that analog feel that you get with uh, the pitch kind of slightly detuning. Uh, things like the virus are kind of known for that. And then this is kind of controlling the kind of key changes. Again, the sign to pitch. And there's some other stuff going on here as well. This is assigned to the sub oscillator level, which is kind of creating that kind of bass line. There's some extra little kind of weird effects happening in here, which is the adjusting the phase of the noise, which kind of gives that little slur, like this, which is kind of eff effectively changing when the pad is, uh, sorry, the sample's being triggered. So it kind of has that slurring effect. Let's try playing with the macros. to get the kind of speeding up of the plane, still uh, linked to the grid. Kind of push it, make it more distorted. Kind of widen it out with hyper.
So yeah, if you like the movie June, you might recognize that. Okay, uh, Pulsar, let's hear this one. Fun has that kind of slow attack. But there's also these kind of ability to Okay, pixels, let's try this one. So you'll see, sometimes the macros have really useful names and sometimes they just have random names like this. So you kind of have to experiment sometimes with these, which can be a good way of writing. Sometimes you have to find those kind of good combinations. Okay, next one, Venus. So again, some like instant kind of vibes, but we can customize it. Some nice textures in that one. Next one. Classic sounding. Okay, snap outs. More arpeggiators. one for each
Blade Runner-ish, that one. Okay, uh, let's try this one, Chambers. So yeah, once again, I'm just gonna solo this one. It's got a, kind of a, almost a tune built into it. And you could come up with some cool, cool progressions. We'll play around with the LFOs. Make it really fast. So yeah, tons of variations within the one preset. Like there's loads of variations that you can kind of uh, come up with on three here. Uh, it just kind of depends uh, what you're trying to do. Okay, next one, beauty. A bit silly playing around with that one. Okay, check next one. Celestial. A bit more of a sci fi vibe on this one. Really need to fix that uh, loop that's <laughs> not in time. Okay, next one, uh, Jupiter. Lushness.
you've got the kind of the nice lush kind of pad. Which you can kind of shape. Or you can add in the, the kind of arpeggio. Okay, Nibiru. So yeah, you can make this into kind of a lead with Macro 4. kind of uh, resampled uh, kind of synth vibe to it. And then you can kind of blend it back into being a pad. And then you've got, kind of got the ability to add in these melodic layers or we'll take them out. Pro 2 does some weird crazy stuff. Okay, next one, Arrakis. Another kind of Dune inspired one, I guess. Kind of a moody kind of pad. Got some nice subtle variations. kind of soundscape sort of stuff. Okay. Out of reaches. have enough hands to play something and do the macros I'm just kind of playing like the one note but obviously you can make uh, your own patterns and kind of loops and stuff Uh, it's actually uh, a pad that Dan made out of his own voice, which is quite cool.
yeah it's got some nice kind of tones there which would be great for a kind of chord progression that kind of thing okay so yeah this is a lead not very liquidy i hear you say well it's not especially when you mangle it with macro 3. So yeah, you can make a kind of good bass lead out of that or kind of uh, synth lead. Uh, drone bass, this is just a really good uh, kind of solid bass that you can use in your tunes. Loads of sub on it. I think that extra oscillator. one neutral okay so yeah this is a, a bit more of a kind of a, a lead sound somewhere between a guitar and I guess something like follow the light that sub focus tune is kind of that similar lead and we can change the length of it so it can either be like a raw brash lead or you can kind of make it shorter And we can also kind of add in some extra layers for kind of sonic interest. You hear that kind of high pitched layer. All right, that's about it for this demo. If you enjoyed that and you want to grab it, you can get it now at dcbreaks.com forward slash shop, along with all sorts of other serum presets uh, for Liquid, uh, Jump Up, Neurofunk, and everything else in between. We've also got loads of presets for other synths like Faceplant and Massive, uh, the Irish TI, and our own synth, uh, Halo, which is a hybrid synth sampler plugin. Uh, so if you haven't uh, seen that, go and check that out in our other videos as well. It sounds amazing. And uh, until next time, I'm out of here.